everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Naomi Amber and I have a new background, a new setup. Let me know if you guys like it. I know it's like a cup in my video. Okay, great. What? I just started my first day of classes and um, I'm in my second semester of my sophomore year and a lot of people have been telling me like a lot of my friends a lot of people that come up to me they're like Naomi like how do you do YouTube work you're on a dance team and you get straight days like how do you do that well I'm gonna give you guys like my little tips on how to get straight days like, you follow all these steps I'm positive you're gonna get straight days but it's also you also have to put in the work it's like a skincare routine like you gotta keep working at the skincare routine so you can get clear skin you gotta keep working at these tips so that we can get straight days so the very first thing you should do is get a planner okay let me tell you guys a planner has saved my life an actual planner to have sitting on your desk where you can mark up days when things are due like let me go to mine and um here you can see like I was a, really busy in September so I marked down a whole bunch of like assignments like activities that I have going on because I'm also on a dance team this is a lot going on you know so definitely I would say top like number one you need a planner number two take all your syllabi all your schedules for all your clubs and organizations put them in the planner i'm telling you this is going to make you so much more organized as soon as something comes up write it down in the planner it's going to help you like not lose your mind because you trying to keep all those dates and assignments in your head is really going to throw you off track okay put all the dates that you need in your planner do it do it do it do it do it do it okay third i definitely think it's important to do your assignments before they are due per personally let me tell you what i do if i have a paper due say i have a paper due on friday i'm going to put in my planner that that paper is due thursday so that way i make sure that that paper is done before like just it's just like muscle mental memory don't ever procrastinate i know in college we love to procrastinate like listen come on i procrastinate so i know other people procrastinate don't even try and lie to yourself if you're watching this video don't even try to lie to yourself but i definitely procrastinate but i make sure that if i know i have like a 12 page paper due i'm gonna do a paper two pages a day okay i'm gonna do like i'm gonna do them in increments if i because i know myself i know i'm gonna procrastinate and i can't save it to the last minute because i personally do not work good under pressure so i have to do assignments in increments and especially papers if it's a research paper, I'm going to research, I'm going to put all my notes down. The next day, I'm going to start writing my first intro. The next day, I'm going to just start going hand. Then the last day, you know, it's proofreading, all that stuff. And then also for tests, I do the same thing. Like, I start working on my study guide the week the exam is. So I have in my planner, start studying. Like, that. that's in my planner too. So literally doing stuff ahead of time. Because, like, it's not saying, like, I'm not saying, like, do the whole paper on Monday and the papers are on Friday. I'm saying do it in increments. Like first day, I'm gonna do this, the research. Second day, I'm gonna start my intro. Next day, I'm gonna do my third paragraph. I'm gonna work on the third page, oh, whatever. What else do I do? Um, oh, I prioritize. It's something, cause you know, in college, teachers don't all know each other's schedule. They're always gonna put all their stuff at the same time. Like if three assignments are due on the same day, I have to prioritize those. Like what's gonna be the hardest one what's gonna be the easiest one what's gonna be the fastest one for me to do so i can get that out the way first then i'm gonna go on to the harder ones or whatever but i never do the hardest one first because if it's gonna take the most time i want to be able to take my time with it so if it's gonna take a less amount of time i'm gonna do that first to get it out the way okay okay i always go to review sessions if your class your teacher your friends are holding review sessions i <laughs> I always go like last semester I was dedicated to going to every review session if they have it utilize it in college people don't realize that so many resources available to us to succeed and I mean because a lot of times in college a lot of things are set up for failure but if you play the system correctly and use it to the best of your abilities trust me you're gonna be getting these straight days okay okay you know what I'm saying you know what I'm saying okay no but honestly truly make use of your resources your study guides your friends make friends in the classes so that way you guys can like study together like it's always important to make friends in classes but 
I personally am an int I'm not even gonna say I'm an introvert because like I'm breaking out of that a little bit but personally I'm very shy I keep to myself it takes me a while for me to like open up I'm not I wouldn't say I'm introverted but it takes me a while to like open up to like environments people all that stuff so um like over time I do have to that's why I like sometimes like group projects are like a eh, eh, kind of situation but when you have group projects you get to like have people's numbers their emails and you can talk to them about classwork um review study guides all that stuff so i just think personally it's always important to make a friend in the class at least one friend oh did you do this oh i didn't even know that was you yeah so i have a notebook right this is a regular plain old note like it just has lines in it it just has lines in it or whatever just a plain old notebook my planner stays on my desk i don't move my planner or anything this goes with me everywhere okay in this i have it's really no kind of specific order that i have these in but on each page i have like a box what's due and the date that it's due and like i'll do this maybe daily weekly it just depends on how like jumbled up it gets but i'll mark down like oh i have this due on this date and then or if it's due like tomorrow say let's just like a, it's like a random homework assignment pressing test whatever this is just like my little notepad just write things down really quickly like if i someone tells me a date like teachers in the class will be like oh this is due blah 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 like they came up with a random assignment that's not in my planner i'll be like okay i put that in my planner when i go home mark it down and when i'm finished with whatever the assignment is i check it off this just helps me prioritize like i said before what's easiest what's fastest what's the hardest to do so i can figure out what i can get out the way first and what i like yeah just what i can get out the way first what i can um what I can get out the way first and what I need to take more time on and what I actually do have time for. So, yeah, basically just like a to-do list where I write down all my notes, jot down everything, blah, blah. I'm the kind of person I need to see it on paper, okay? I need to see it on paper. I need to be able to check things off, cross it out. Getting a notebook like this is really important. I like mine's big. I do not like those tiny little notepads, but if that works for you... You know, it's your prerogative, okay? Straight A's for me, I wouldn't say it's an easy thing to do, but with practice, it's kind of like, <laughs> I'm the kind of person that's like, if, if, I, if I'm capable of doing it once, I can do it again. So now it's kind of like a second nature thing to me. Like The last tip that I have is to take handwritten notes. Now, in college, people love to... Soon as you get to class, people love to take out the MacBooks, open it up, they love to go typing away, like just typing away their notes. Let me tell you a little something, something, okay? I'm a little old school. <laughs> Let me stop. But I am a little old school because I do handwritten notes. <laughs> I do not, like I feel like you definitely do retain the information more on hand like on paper like when you're actually writing it down like you're listening you're writing it down i know some people like they use their computers i guess i don't know like i don't really know what's a good reason to use your computer as opposed to um paper other than like you forgot your notebook like because that happens to me sometimes i forget my notebook and i just take my notes to my laptop um i personally think it's better to write your notes down some teachers always say like oh they don't allow computers because it's a distraction you can get distracted easily and personally if i have a screen in front of me i'm distracted <laughs> that's point blank period if i have a screen in front of me i'm going to be doing a whole bunch of other stuff because you have the capability to do other stuff um i definitely think taking handwritten notes is key is key is key um, i can't think of any other like thing it's like i said before like it's something that you work at you practice you're not gonna i'm not gonna say you're gonna get it the first time around but um if you follow these steps to the t okay you might be able to get a little 4.0 okay but no um i definitely definitely think these steps are key and being able to get straight a's when you're in college um prioritize time management you know all that stuff they be yeah 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 they'll be rah rah all that rah rah in your ear that the professors be saying your advisors be saying that stuff is really serious like um of course sometimes you know people get caught up you know 
but time waits for no one and stuff gotta get done okay and that stuff that you need to get done is your work and just remember that you're in college for school and all that other stuff definitely does fall second okay so um yeah because i know college can get a little crazy and yeah but um uh, thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys got some little tips some tricks on how to get straight a's when you are in school and i hope you guys have a nice and prosperous semester i hope i do too god willing but um i will see you guys in my next video and i hope you guys enjoyed oh stop you don't think you're gonna just keep watching this video and not subscribe so go subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye